Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys all had a fabulous weekend. Here in Menasha, it was pretty nice weather late yesterday and today it was almost, I think it was like around 60 degrees. Ah, me and my mom ventured out to go shopping a little bit today. That's how I know the temperature. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have left the house. <laughs> yeah, hi, Carol. Hello, I see everybody popping in. Sue is here. Welcome, Deborah. So, um, we had a, I had a very busy week trying to get everything in order. We have our retreat coming up this next weekend. So I'm trying to, you know, get all this stuff ordered and make sure that I have all my ducks in a row and um, creating videos for it. That's a lot of fun. And projects, of course, that's, well, that's the funnest part. Yeah. So let me get myself up here on there we go, on my iPad, so I can see your comments when I turn this thing around. There we go. Hi, Connie, I see Dee is in here too. Jeannie's here, I miss you, I haven't seen you in a long time, and Pat just popped in. So yeah, um, I told you guys last weekend that my mom was coming to visit, she was coming to meet her great-grandson. <laughs> And oh, he did not disappoint, of course, and neither did Val. She is just so stinking funny, and she's talking so much. So that is, it's just so much fun. Um, so I spent the week getting ready for the retreat, trying to get all my ducks in a row so that I could be off on, well, I started Friday because I needed to clean up this drywall mess. You guys remember that? Who called me Melly? <laughs> it's funny. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Um, I've been called a lot worse, I'll tell you that. I had to clean up this drywall mess. My guest room, which is my dressing room, you know, I call it my dressing room because it's kind of fancy. <laughs> but it's just a room nobody lives in that I have a desk in and I put my makeup on and get ready and all that stuff in there. So I had to get my guest room cleaned up, my dressing room. And you guys know that my whole, whole upstairs is just filled with drywall dust and it was horrible. So I decided that on Friday, the minute I got up, I was going to start cleaning up here because I knew it was going to be a nightmare. Like every single thing needed to be wiped off. Everything. I had to wipe down the hangers in the closet because they had dust on them. Steve took all his clothes out of that closet, washed them all. Thank goodness my room our, our bedroom, I should say, didn't get too bad. And I have a walk-in closet, so the door was closed on that. <laughs> but anyways, the drywall, it was, it was just horrible. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I was ready to sucker punch somebody on Friday. It was just such a mess. So I spent all day cleaning out that room and wiping everything down. And you know how that's my place where everything gets accumulated. Like we have stuff in the in the kitchen. It's like I'll just put it up in the put it up in the empty room. Put it up in the empty room. So you get all this crap, right? Accumulated. And um so I found places for all of it. We had a lot that went to Goodwill. We had um some stuff I put up in the attic. And then all the stuff from there I kind of pushed into my bedroom so I could clean and get all the I had to wash all the bedding and all the stuff. Got that all done. But now I have to clean out the closet in the hallway and that everything, everything in the closet covered with like a, an eighth of an inch of drywall dust. I'm not even kidding. All the games, all the blankets, the Santa hats, um, all of my photo albums are sitting up like this covered in drywall dust. It was just disgusting. Anyways, so I got that all done and I got it all cleaned up. And um, my daughter showed up, my mom showed up. I wasn't even showered yet. I was white <laughs> from head to toe. So um, yeah, did somebody just ask what the drywall dust was about? Drywall, oh no, Nancy said it's the worst. I know, right? So I jumped in the shower quick and that refreshed me a little bit. And oh my gosh, I took ibuprofen. I was so stiff because I'm not used to doing that much physical work in one day, right? So um, anyways, Haley and Jared and Val and the baby came over and um, 
um, it, it, we just had a really nice evening. And I see Sandra just came on and said she thought I was going to be on YouTube. No, when I'm going to be on YouTube, I'll tell you. I said that I thought that I might need to move to YouTube. Hi, Steve. <laughs> From the kitchen. <laughs> um, and I, and I may still do that, but I haven't had time to deal with that. I have to change all my advertising, all my marketing, send out a newsletter, letting everybody know, you know, where I'm going to be. So I won't make that change, Sandra, until you know about it. So I'm glad you found me here. <laughs> Somebody just said, how has your week been with your new member of the family? Oh my gosh, I have been over to visit him a lot. He's super sweet and all he does is sleep and eat and poop. That's it. Um, so he's a really good baby <laughs> and he does sleep a lot. Hi, Connie. Happy to see you. Um, so yeah, he's just adorable and he's lost the puffiness. His face was really puffy, right? Um, he was like, and now he's lost that. And, oh, he's just so handsome. I want to say adorable. He is adorable, but boys are handsome, right? Yeah. So anyways, got the drywall cleaned up. Mom came. Haley and Jared are here. Uh, we spent the evening with them. We ordered in fish from our local, a local place here and had dinner and just had a really nice evening. And then Saturday, Haley and Jared, no, we went over there. We took donuts there. Yes, we did. We went to Manderfields and got donuts and took them over to Haley and Jared's house. And, um, we had breakfast with them and then we kept the babies entertained while they were getting ready because they had newborn photos Saturday morning. I can't wait to see them. They said they didn't go that great because Val would not cooperate. <laughs> but what are you going to do? Yeah, a soon-to-be two-year-old, you don't have a lot of control over that. So anyways, they went and did that and then went home and took a nap. Me and my mom went shopping. And oh my good Lord, I did some serious damage. <laughs> like... <laughs> but um, I have all this new remodeled upstairs to decorate, right? Like I have a whole bedroom to decorate. I have a whole hallway, um, the, the top of the stairs, the landing at the top of the stairs. I've got all that that is just bare. So that's what we did. I got a new nightstand for my guest room. And um, what else? A lamp for in there. I tried to get a rug, but I can't find one. Um, I bought one, but I don't, Haley said, no, that doesn't look great. So that's going back. And uh, what else? I got some pictures to hang on the wall. I got this giant mirror that's really cool to put out here. I got a plant stand with some plant stuff on it that looks really cool. I mean, oh, and my, my kids for Christmas bought me a wooden Lazy Susan with two tiers. Those are really popular right now for decorating. And... If you, um, you can go on Etsy or whatever and, and put in, uh, uh, what are they called? Lazy Susan. And it gives you whole packages you can buy for each holiday. Like here's Valentine's Day and you get all these little things to put in there. And here's Easter and you get all these little things. Well, I went to this place called Ye Old Goat. It is a fantastic consignment craft superstore. Like it's not a chain. It's just local. Um, but I got, I filled up my two tiers and I just love it. Every time I go in the kitchen, it just makes me so happy. Oh, Lori, I don't know what you said, but something happened that wasn't good. And I do go, try to go back through and read through all these messages that I miss. So I'm really sorry, whatever happened. Um, yeah, I'm not finding it. Um, anyways, so we did a lot of shopping and then Jared and Haley came over and we watched a movie and just hung out in the living room. And then Val stayed overnight. And I've never had this problem with her before, but she was a little overtired. And when Haley and Jared left, she started crying. And she kept walking over to the door crying, going, Mommy, Daddy, bye-bye. <laughs> she goes, break your little heart, right? So anyways, and then she decided she want, I said, do you want to go sleep in your room? Because I have a room for her and Molly, right? And I'm like, I'll sleep in there with you. And nope, up the stairs we went. She wanted to go in my bed and go to bed right now. So I said to my mom, good night, mom. I'm <laughs> going to bed. <laughs> and we did. So, and she slept good all night. So everything was fine this morning. I made buttermilk pancakes and um, Steve made some, had some sausage breakfast links made out of, um, 
venison. So we had those. Those were delicious. And Wisconsin maple syrup. Thank you, Cindy Ellers. Somebody asked me if Cindy uh, ships syrup anyplace, and she does. She will ship it. So, And they are making syrup again right now. And my mom brought me a case of syrup from Cindy because I was running low. So good old Wisconsin maple syrup. Mm, so delicious. Anyways, so that's what's been happening. Oh, Steve. Steve cooked us yesterday. He cooked. He pan fried, not in oil, but, you know, like butter. Pan fried chicken breast and put cheese on it and all kinds of seasonings. And then he does onions and mushrooms until they're nice and brown. And then we have it on a bun like a chicken sandwich. Oh, so good. My mom was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And it was good. But he has been battling a sinus infection. He finally went to the doctor and they gave him some medicine. So he's feeling better now. He was, he's been sick for a little while. Um, What else happened? Oh, we have a John report for anybody who may be new. John is my next door neighbor. And when COVID hit, we didn't have a lot of things going on, right? So I started doing a report on my neighbor. And it's just kind of a funny, fun little thing that I do. My John report, Steve told me that John is not keeping his truck clean. Remember John retired and he got a new truck and he is not keeping it clean. We're a little disappointed. He also asked John if he was paying lakefront property taxes now. And I'm like, what's that all about? Well, John has a lake in his backyard because it's flooding. And he got a pump out and was going to pump it out to the street. <laughs> but then it froze again because we live in Wisconsin. And so John didn't get to pump out his lake. And we're sure his taxes are going up. <laughs> You guys, we have a retreat happening next weekend. Um, I do believe there are a couple um, goodie boxes available. You can find all the information for the retreat on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And um, who just asked me something? Hang on. It says, Miss Kelly, does Mr. Steve do all the clicking, please? And thank you. <laughs> can you send him my way? No, you can't have him. He does. Um, I'll tell you what, Becky. He does all the cooking. He's not a good cleaner, but he did vacuum last week. Um, and he knows. He knows he's not a good cleaner. He's an angry cleaner. You know, he likes to slam the vacuum cleaner around. So you just want to leave when he's cleaning. But anyways, um, yeah, he does all the cooking and he does all the grocery shopping. And he takes care of all the stuff outside today. He pruned. He was up in the top of our pear tree, flat topping it, because that's what you're supposed to do with fruit trees. He does all the outside work. He does all the snow removal in the um, lawn, takes care of that in the summer. And, yeah, he, he even fills up my, my Explorer with gas for me. And I take him on fabulous trips. <laughs> no, he says, you go work. I will do this. So, yeah. I know, Becky. And funny thing is, is we've been married for, gosh, I don't know. Haley's 27, going to be 28. So we've been married longer than that. I don't know how long. 29 years, 30, maybe 30 this year. Anyways, um, he never really cooked the whole time the kids were growing up. And I, I had all of his kids here. He has three kids from a previous marriage. They all lived with us. And then Haley, which is ours. And he never, he never cooked. I did all of it. I did everything from the running to the all all the things we do right you guys know we all do those things but when Haley left for college I hate cooking I just hate to cook I love to bake but I do not like to cook unless it's party food and when Haley left for college I sat him down and I said listen I'm not cooking anymore you're gonna learn how to cook or we're gonna eat out a lot I'm not your mother it's not my job to take care of you I work too and I'm just not doing it anymore so <laughs> He started cooking and it was funny because there's just a lot of things even still today he'll ask me questions where I'm like he doesn't know that um you know like about cooking rice you don't take the lid off and stir it you just leave it and 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 all the things and how to boil this and how to do that and he still asks me from time to time and I and I don't laugh at him at all because I don't want him to be mad right I just tell him how to do it and I'll make suggestions and I'm very good about always eating what he makes. And he's turned into a gourmet cook. Yeah, like he enjoys it. So he does really cool things with it. Me, I was just like, throw the food together and let's eat. 
my food was always good. It didn't taste bad. It's just that I didn't, I, I, it wasn't something I wanted to be doing. So yeah, I'm pretty lucky and I know it. <laughs> so I um, wanted to remind you guys, for those of you, I got a whole bunch of orders for these sticky kits. So this is an adhesive kit. It comes in a cute little pouch. All the pouches are different colors, but it has all three of our sizes of dimensionals in it. We've got black, black minis and regulars in there. We've got mini glue dots. We've got tear and tape. We've got a seal plus, a seal plus refill, liquid glue, a sand eraser for getting ink smudges off, and a gum eraser for getting adhesive off. All this stuff comes in here. It's $69. You get the cute little pouch with it. And so if anybody would like to order those, you're going to find an ordering button on my blog, www.estampabub.com. And you can get all of this stuff, especially if you like to go to like crops and stuff like that. It's really nice to be able to just throw everything, all your adhesives in here. You can keep track of them easily. And uh, yeah, I, I swear all this stuff does fit in here, but it's it's pretty big. <laughs> Anyways, if um, I wanted to let those of you know that have ordered this, my order is coming in on Wednesday. I will be packing it up and turning it around and getting it back out in the mail on Thursday for you. So for those of you that ordered the sticky kit, $69, it's a great value. You'll love it. Mary Stroman. Mary Stroman is the one who won the baby guessing. Remember, I put on my Facebook page to guess baby Dawson's weight, his length, his time of arrival, the date. Um, yeah, and that's all the things. And Mary was the closest. So baby Dawson was born on March 7th at 4.09 p.m. Mary guest March 7th at 3 49 p.m. So she was only nine minutes off or uh, 18 minutes off. Ooh, math is hard. She said eight pounds. He weighed seven pounds, 14 ounces. And she said he was going to be 20 inches long and he was 21 and a half inches long. Yay! So I just want to let everybody know that Mary won and I sent Mary off a very nice little package Watch for your happy mail, Mary. And thank you guys all so much for guessing. It was a lot of fun, right? I always like doing that. Somebody just asked me, where did I get my cutting, my um, sticky mat that I have underneath my die cutting machine? And since some of you, let me get all the pieces off of it, may have missed this last week. This is like a, it's a silicone baking sheet or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not cooking with it. <laughs> But anyways, it's from Walmart, and you'll find it by the rolling pins and that type of baking stuff. So, how much is gas in Wisconsin? I don't know because I do not fill up with gas. Remember, I just said that. <laughs> I don't know. It's expensive, and we're sick of it, and yeah. Um, <laughs> that's another conversation for another day. Somebody wanted to know where I got this shirt, and I'm pretty sure that I got, remember last week I wore the polka dot one, and it was from Greece, when, when Stampin' Up! had an incentive trip where we went to Greece, we went to Santorini, Greece. I think I got this shirt there too. I did a little shopping there. I did a little damage there also. Yeah, that um, blue topaz ring that you see me wear, I got that there too. I know. So um, that, my shirt's from, I think it's from Greece. I'm pretty sure. Lisa says gas is $379, and Mickey says it's $399, so no saggy bits. I don't know what that means, <laughs> and I don't want any saggy bits either. <laughs> okay, um, so Mary won. Then, I wanted to remind you guys, joining my team, whether you want to be a discount shopper and get a, and get a discount on all your future orders or build a business, I am your person. Um, I have a fairly large team under me. The majority of them are discount shoppers, but um, there are quite a few of them that are building a business also. And I had, the reason why I'm telling you this, well, is because I would love it if you join my team. But um, if you're not getting a discount on your product, you should be. And I had somebody contact me this week telling me that they were gonna join my team in the next few days. And their question was, 
is they they needed they wanted to be taught how to add links into their website and they really wanted to make sure that I would be able to teach them that if they when they joined Stampin' Up. And um, I, I told her, absolutely, that is part of our training. Um, we have, I do a Q&A every Tuesday morning, a Facebook Live, just like this one, with my team in a private group. I have several private groups for my team. And we do a Q&A every Tuesday morning where people can ask me questions and learn how to do stuff. Um, I also am in collaboration with my friends that are also demonstrators, Barb and Dina. We do a Demonstrator 101 training every Wednesday afternoon where, again, a lot of these items are um, taught and questions can be asked so that we can, you know, give you as much information as possible to make your experience successful, whether you're a discount shopper or want to build a business. So <laughs> Diane says, join Kelly's team. Yeah, um, a lot of my team members are on here tonight. I see their names coming through, and I absolutely love that. But you guys, we have a good time, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yvette, thank you so much. Um, anyways, the best deal, if you have an order around $100, our starter kit, you get to pick anything you want, and it's only $99. Plus, you don't have to pay shipping on that. It's free shipping. You get to choose $125 and anything out of any of our promotions or catalogs that you want. So you get to customize it and only pay $99 plus tax. Then you get a full three months to be on my team without any further action. There are minimums to meet. It's $300 a quarter, and that is before your 20 to 25% discount. And um, you can hang around for up to six months if you if you time it right like if you if you join at the beginning of a quarter that rest of that quarter is a freebie you get the whole next quarter to meet any type of minimums plus we have a pre-order coming up we are going to get to pre-order out of the new annual catalog soon yay and you can join in on any stamping events um, that's really fun uh, stamping up events are the best you get to participate in those and again, you can participate on my team. I do have a team meeting every month via Zoom and Facebook Live. No matter where you live in the country, you can join our meeting and we have so much fun. So I just wanted to remind everybody that if you're not getting a discount on your product, if you want to be part of something bigger, you need to order that kit. Anything you want for $100, you get to pick $125. It's the best deal always, hands down. Okay, so I have prizes. First of all, I wanted to let you guys know, last week, uh, let's see, who is this for? This was for, oh, never mind, this is the wrong one. I do have, oh, is this it? Yes, hang on, oh, here we go, Gwen, Gwen Ball. I still have your dimensionals, black dimensionals, these are the big and the minis, that you um, won last week on my Facebook live Gwen Ball B A L L I do not have a address an address for you Gwen so you're going to have to get in touch with me you can email me at kelly at a stamp above.com and let me know your address so I can send you your prize yay and let's see I have to get this out in the mail now there are three ways with my note there there are three ways to win prizes with me the first way is to leave a comment if you're new with me tonight, you want to make sure that you say hello or something um, because that will put you into a drawing to win fabulous product. <laughs> For commenting on my Facebook Live last week, and by the way, Facebook did not delete that one, but I did not boost it either. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Yeah, please get rid of the troll. I know you guys will hack them up. <laughs> Stampers can be a little vicious. <laughs> not kidding. I have some champagne rhinestone basic jewels, and these are going off in the mail to Sue Tyler of Midlothian, Virginia. Thank you for commenting on my Facebook Live last week. I will be sending these off to you tomorrow. And then the second way that you can earn or be put in a drawing for fabulous prizes is to share this video. Someplace on your screen right now, you can push share. And when you do that, 
it's going to share it to your profile page and all your friends are going to see that, hey, there's that Kelly with a video. Most of them probably won't be too interested in it, but one or two might click on it and watch it. And that really helps me grow my business. So if you can share my video, whether you're watching live right now, whether you're watching later on Facebook, you can click on that share button or whether you're watching the replay on YouTube, which I, I post this video to YouTube later tonight. If you could please share this video, I would so appreciate it. For sharing the video last week, I have some sponge daubers and also some of the Simply Marvelous 6x6 Designer Series paper. My winner for sharing last week is Cindy DeWitt of my very own Menasha, Wisconsin. Cindy, I was so excited your name came up. So I will drop these in the mail to you. Last but not least, the third way that you can win fabulous prizes from me is by placing an order. And you guys know that I always appreciate your orders. They are what keeps me in business. I have the spiral die background stamp. There's some really cool stuff you can do with this. I used it for one of my bingos not too long ago. So there's some great ideas on my blog using this too. For placing an order within the last week, the drawing winner is Mary Schlefke of Marshfield, Wisconsin. Mary, congratulations. Woohoo! Thank you, Arliss. Arliss said she already liked and shared. Thank you so much. Okay, let me stack this stuff all over here so I do not lose it. And I forgot to put my Carmex on. Hang on. When, before I came on. Oh, my lips get so dry. Oh, okay, so first thing we're going to do today is I said um, in my Are You Going to Watch Me Tonight post that we would be doing things about spring. And um, we certainly are going to do things about spring. So I am going to get my phone turned around so we can do some things about spring. Oh wait, I lost my, hang on, I lost my, oh here it is, Whew, I lost my project. <laughs> That's never good, right? Okay, I'm going to set that over there. All right, let's flip this thing around. Um, I am not plugged in here. I'm going to unplug my iPad and plug my phone in. Hang on, it's going to jiggle a little so that we don't lose each other, right? And again, if, if you asked me any questions and I missed them, I'm very sorry. Sometimes when um, a lot of people, like if 10, if 10 comments come through at the same time, I don't get to see all of them because they go do, 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 and they're gone. So if you asked a question and I didn't answer it, you can ask it again. Um, or you can email me, kelly at a stamp and I'm all, I always answer my emails. So just so you know that. Okay, we're going to flip now, you guys. Um, here we go. Okay. Now, there's a couple things. I was, whoops, hang on. I was online tonight before, I just like this to be straight. I was online tonight before um, I came on here checking to see what's on back order, what's back in stock, all the good things so that, you know, I'm fairly intelligent when I'm speaking to you tonight <laughs> because that is pretty important to me. <laughs> I don't look like a complete, uh, you know, um, brain dead or anything. Um, maybe that wasn't the right term, but you know what I mean. So we ran out of the Celebrate Today magnetic boards and I wanted to let you know that we have them back in stock. And this is the way the shipping crisis affects us, okay? We are, we're gonna run out of stuff fast because we can't get a lot of the product in, but then it's gonna come back in stock. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this fabulous little magnetic board, and I'm gonna grab mine quick. I only have one little element on my board, but these are so cute. There's a magnet under here. You get sheets of paper that are double-sided. You get to pick which side you want to be on here. And then we have all these little envelopes that you get to make. And you can put little cards in them. This is kind of like a keep track of your whatever, whatever you need. But this is a little magnet board. It's 12 by 12, and I have it over there on my shelf. I absolutely love it. These are back in stock again. Hang on, everything's falling down. Oh my good Lord, I'm gonna get away from it. <laughs> I'll clean that up later. 
Anyways, um, these are only $25. They make a fantastic gift. Um, you get to put them together, but there's nothing necessary. You don't need anything to put these together. You get all these little cards in them. They're really cute. So I just wanted to let you guys know that these are back in stock again, and it's called Celebrate Today Magnetic Board. And if you just put that in the little search area, it'll pop right up. Okay, next up, we have the Robot Buddies Kit. This is a super duper cute, cute kit. I did check to make sure this is still in stock. This is a great kit for you to get and make or for you to get and make with your kids or grandkids or neighbor kids or whomever. Or you could do it for a birthday party and have the kids make a bunch of cards and they can take them home and use them for other birthday parties, whatever the case may be. You get nine cards, two ink spots, sticker sheets, printed die cuts, you get a video, an instructional PDF on how to do these. It even, you guys, it even has an acrylic block. Like all you need is scissors and glue. Well, probably not even scissors, glue to put this together. Everything is in here. So this is a really cute little kit that's available. And again, it's called Robot Buddies Kids Card Kit. Okay, next up. Savings are in bloom. So we have our little die cutting machine is, I think, 20% off during the month of March. So it's only $48. And then all the rest of these are dies that they've shown us that are also on sale, bundles. Like we don't have bundle sales very often. So this was like, whoa, it's a bundle sale. Stamp set and the dies are all 20% off for these particular these particular dies here. And you can find this information um, in the online store. They'll show you exactly what's on sale. But I wanted to show you because, hang on. One of my favorite sets of dies in here that is on sale, one of my favorite bundles is the Quiet Meadow Bundle. And these are all the dies that are in there. And they put these bundles on sale because all of the dies in here will go through that mini machine. And if you're not familiar with that machine, it's this big. It's super cute. It comes with all the plates you need to make it operate properly. And you can see that all of these dies are going to fit right through there. So that's what this um, Savings Are in Bloom sale is about. That goes on until the end of the month. And Quiet Meadow is part of our retreat next weekend. So we will have a whole class of um, ideas made with this. Plus the make and takes, you get to make four make and takes as part of the retreat if you do the goodie box with it. So I just wanted to share that with you. Then we have the Waves of the Ocean. And I've got a fantastic card here using the Waves of the Ocean. This is available until May 2nd. But look at this. Ah! Yeah, isn't that cool? It's like a little a little diorama box, right? This was made by um, my friend and my, my assistant, Kathy Miller. Isn't that pretty? This beautiful paper, the Waves um, rhinestones. Gorgeous, gorgeous element. Even these clouds, very, very cool. So that's what the Waves of the Ocean is. It comes with foil paper, designer paper, a stamp set, dies, and rhinestones. I do have an online class with that right now. I am going to be um, putting together my numbers later this week to get those kits, pre-cut card stock for nine cards out in the mail. So when you order this whole bundle, plus the glittered ribbon we're gonna use with this class. And you just register and I invoice you and then you pay and I order this stuff for you. When you do that, you get the online class and the pre-cut card stock for eight, or I'm sorry, nine cards using Waves of the Ocean, pretty much free. So that's a really good deal. And this has been so beautiful, so many pretty things made with this. So that's Waves of the Ocean. And then all together, this is another promotion we have going on until May 2nd. We have a beautiful stamp set with some really nice dies. And then I brought this out because we're gonna be using the all together black and white paper for our very first card. Look at all this. 
it's all black and white. And as a stamper, I can tell you black and white is like my favorite paper because you can color this stuff any color you want it to be. And it's so cool. So this is the All Together 6x6 Designer Series paper. All of these elements you can order separately or you can order the entire collection under one number. So I just wanted to let you know where this was coming from. And what are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I have. I have my strawberry lemonade. Oh my goodness. But I have to tell you what I had for supper. Did I tell you that? I don't, I don't think I did. So <laughs> for supper, I had buffalo chicken dip with tortilla chips. That was my main course. And then I topped it off with a little dessert. Um, Girl Scout cookies. And did you hear about the new Girl Scout cookies? I think they're called Adventurous or something like that. I could be totally wrong. But they're like little brownie cookies with a dollop of caramel on top. And then like maybe some frosting zigzagged and back and forth or chocolate zigzagged back and forth. That was my supper. <laughs> right? It's like, that's really sad, Kelly. <laughs> but Steve was supposed to make Philly cheesesteak today. Oh, his is the best. And he didn't because he was doing all the treat cutting. So this is how I eat when he does not make food. <laughs> we are going to be using the Daffodil Daydream bundle for our first card tonight. And this set of dies, there are 24 different dies in here. And of course we have the Daffodil Daydream beautiful um, stamp set. I have several swap cards that I'm gonna share with you after I show you the card that we're making, okay? But I wanted to bring in these sheets. So you guys know when I went to Salt Lake City for my million dollar achievement, sales achievement trip, that I got to make a video with Sarah Douglas. And it just so happens that we used this bundle to make the video and the, and the project. And with everything going on with Celebration starting, I got the video from Stampin' Up, but I was, I, I kind of pushed it aside because I had so much other stuff to do. And then I forgot about it, if you can believe that. I know, right? Well, you guys know I have some memory problems, right? So anyways, um, I am going to be sharing that video with you this week. And I also wanted to tell you that I'm celebrating my 18th anniversary with Stampin' Up. So I thought that would be a great time to share a video with me and Sarah Douglas, the CEO of Stampin' Up. And um, while I was at the home office, they gave me these. They made up these templates showing how to use all of the little elements to build daffodils, which is so cool, right? So, oh, who's got sweet tea? Beth has sweet tea. I love sweet tea. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to, um, I'll go through this a little bit with you so you can see all of these, all of these elements. Hang on, I've got some things sticking. There we go. Okay, so of course we have all of these stems and leaves. And the neat part about this particular um, set of dies is you get doubles on a lot of this stuff, okay? So here, here's a stem that goes that way and here's a stem that goes that way. So you have stems going both ways, okay? And then we have two blade leaves. And then here's this die, here's this die, and when you add this to this, you get that, okay? And then we have, oh, and there's duplicates. So here's another one, and here's another one. So you can die kind of, you know, two at a time, which is really um, optimal. I like it when Stampin' Up! does that. Okay, here comes the die right here for this piece, and then we have this one right here. When you put that on there, this is what it looks like. Now, this part right here, oh, let's keep going, let's keep going. We've got this one, and this just looks like the propeller on a plane, kind of. Okay, so we've got this one right here, 
And then this one right here. Oops, let me get that one back down here. This one right here. So when you stack this one on top of this one, it looks like this. And now when you put these together, this, well, let's start. This is on the bottom, okay? Then this gets layered on top. And then this is the, you know, the cup part of the daffodil. So isn't it cool that you've got all these builder things? It's like, well, how are you going to know this when you order this? Well, you're going to go back to my video and you're going to stop it, push pause on it so you can see all these cool things, right? Now, next, so this daffodil goes this way. This daffodil is a little bit different. And this daffodil uses this particular die right here and we've got it here twice so we're going to do the detailed the solid to get the buttercup that's what I call it then you're going to use you get two of these also so you get one one so you can die cut a bunch at a time so you're going to use this to do this this to do this and then you stack them this and this is the same but you need two of them to make this daffodil. So you're gonna take this and stack it on here and then put that in the middle and do your stems. Cool, right? The other thing that's in these dies, oh, hang on, I've got, oh, I've got some. I cut some, but then I changed my mind on the colors. Look how pretty these are. Ah. Yeah. Um, and I like to keep all my extra pieces in the back here that I don't use because I may get them out again and use them on something else, right? So the rest of the dies that are in here, this big die right here, die cuts this, when you stamp this flower, you can die cut that. This one right here, die cuts this one. We have one for the butterfly and then there's little flower in here. We also have some little centers that you can add to the daffodils. And this does embossing on a leaf petal. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so all kinds of really neat dies in here. Hang on, I got some more bits here. Now let me set this back in here so I don't lose anything. And we'll get started making our card because I think it's pretty cool. Put that in the back. I'm just gonna set these all right here. Oh, did I do the third sheet with you? I didn't, so let me do the third sheet. Okay, so this, this die right here is the little bud, and this die right here, I said did some embossing, but I lied, I, I forgot about this one. This, and I didn't mean to lie. <laughs> Let's be perfectly clear, it's, I'm, it's not a habitual thing for me to lie. <laughs> This cuts this out, so when you stack this on this, you get the bud, and then you can use the same leaves and stems to do some little buds. So you can build like a whole bouquet with all of this stuff, which I think is really cool. All right, let me set this aside, and we're gonna bring in our bits and pieces. So I'm going to be using a um, white thick, that's basic white thick cardstock base. And we've got a scrap of white. Uh, I'm going to be using Flirty Flamingo and Pale Papaya. And then I decided to bring in my contour dies because I wanted a scalloped rectangle. So I've already die cut that. And then, let's see, let me set that over there. I'm gonna bring in this particular pattern of the designer series paper. And I could use either side. I could use this side or I could use this side. But do you see how cool this is? That you can color all of these big dots. You could color them all the same color. You could color them different colors and have a whole rainbow of polka dots just because this is black and white paper. You could do the same thing over here with the tiny little hearts. You could make these all yellow or orange or red or all different colors. That's the value of black and white paper is you can do so many things with it. It is my all-time favorite. But I love the like um, tweed fabric look 
to these polka dots. So I think I'm gonna use this side. I, I cut it out to use this side, but then I turned it over and went, oh, I love these polka dots. So I think I'm gonna use those. All right, let me grab all of my things here. So we are going to do this particular daffodil. So I need to do all of these things. So I've got, hang on, I've got a scrap of white here and it's probably not big enough, but we're gonna die cut two of those. We are going to die cut two of these, okay? So two and two. And when we do that, let me get out my bits and pieces here. Here comes our pieces. Now, these, the flirty flamingo and the pale papaya, we are going to do the detailed buttercup out of the flirty flamingo, the solid buttercup out of the pale papaya, and when we get those done, they're going to look like this, okay? So here's our bits and pieces. Then I have a scrap of pear pizzazz, and we're going to do, hang on, we need one stem. I'm gonna do a stem, and then one blade for a leaf, or maybe two, we'll see. And then when I do that, I have some extras here, here we go. So we've got our stem and our daffodil blades. That's what I call them. I don't know what everybody else calls them, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, let me get all of these put back in the package and I'll show you what I came up with. Oops. Because you know I hate losing dyes. Ugh, then they're done that. Have you guys ever lost, misplaced a die? It's like a living nightmare. <laughs> We need to be very careful with our investment in dyes because they're a little pricey, right? Okay, I'm gonna grab, where's my paper trimmer? There it is, it's way up on the top shelf. I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to score this. So this is four and a quarter by 11 and I'm gonna score it at five and a half because anytime you use our thick card bases, you want to score. If you don't score it, it's not going to fold nice for you. And then grab my, yeah, Judy says she's lost a few and Patricia does too. You know what? The, when I can't find a die, the first thing I do, uh, if I have long sleeves on, look at, I got injured while I was cleaning. Isn't that terrible? And one of my fingers is purple too. I broke a blood vessel in this finger. It doesn't look like it stayed too long, but whatever. Enough whining about my cleaning adventure. Um, <laughs> I always look on my sleeves. I'll always go like this because the dyes from being stuck to the tape in here, sometimes they get a little adhesive that stays on them and I'll put my arm down on them and it'll stick to it. One time I looked everywhere for dyes and then I sat down and tried to figure out what happened. Where did I go? What was I doing? Did I walk over someplace and set it down or what happened? And I, I remember getting down on the floor to look for something. And then I got back up in my chair and I stood up and sure enough, that little die was stuck to my butt. I'm not even kidding. It was, it was the most hysterical thing. I was so mad because I wasted so much time searching for the die that was stuck to my butt. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so funny little story. It's important when you get your products that you open them up and look at them. Um, I have not used the stamp set yet because I wanted to wait until we're a little closer to, you know, Mother's Day Easter because you've got Happy Mother's Day and Easter blessings in here. So I pulled this out to use it and lo and behold, the wrong sheet of rubber was in here. The sheet of rubber that went to a sentiment stamp set was what was in here. So don't worry. I called Stampin' Up and I told them and they're like, oh my gosh, we are so sorry. 
we will send you. So they're sending me this stamp set. So I don't actually even have the stamp set, but I do have the dies. So what I had to do was I had to grab a sentiment from another stamp set. And <laughs> these two go together like water and vinegar, right? <laughs> like what? Um, I've been using this stamp set a lot for um, our Stamp Happy Academy classes. Well, I've used it a few times in there. But this is one of my favorite stamp sets. I haven't used it for you guys yet, but I will. Don't worry, because I love it. But anyways, I love the fonts on the sentiments in here. I just love those funky fonts. So what I did is I grabbed the no a note of thanks. And that's the sentiment I'm going to use on my daffodil card because I don't actually have, I wanted to do an Easter blessings, but I don't have the stamp set. So instead, I'll just do a note of thanks that's coming out of the Wildlife Wonder set. Yeah. So, you know, we have to improvise sometimes. And this was one of them. So what I'm going to do here is, um, this is from that scallop contour. I'm going to grab a memento ink pad and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And like I said, if I had this stamp set, I would be stamping Easter blessings. Let me stand up and make sure. So what I was saying that I kind of got off on, um, a little side note is that you want to make sure that you're opening up your products when you get them. Okay. Making sure that everything's good. Um, I have never had this happen before. So, um, and I've been doing this for 18 years, so this is the first time, but we have to remember that it's real people that open these cases up and put the rubber in and put the stickers in and do all the things. So, um, real people can make a mistake and that's what happened, but you don't want to put this on a shelf and not use it for two or three years and then open it up and find out that you don't actually have the stamps, right? So make sure you're checking your stuff. Make sure your punches work. Take them out, punch a couple things. Yep, they're great. Everything's good with them. Um, again, we don't, it's very rare we have an issue with anything, but you have 90 days to um, exchange anything or in, any type of thing like that. So just know that you should be looking at your things when you're getting them. <laughs> So if I would have done that back in January, I wouldn't be sitting here without a stamp set. So don't do like what Kelly did, do better. And I see I've got Denise Flynn in here. Denise, my maiden name is Flynn. How interesting. Okay, um, next we're gonna start building our daffodils. So these are super easy to build. I'm going to grab my white pieces first. And all I did was took, so you got to figure out which way does this go. It needs to fit on there just right, and it does. So I know that it goes like this. I lucked out on that. So I'm just going to put a dot of glue right there and glue this on here. And I did a little Google search for daffodils to see, are they always only just white and yellow or white and whatever? There's some colored ones. So um, as a stamper, I am pretty sure you can make your daffodil any color you want, but I found some that had like poppy red, the buttercup part. And I thought, ooh, that's really pretty. So you might see some poppy red daffodils coming from me using this set because I thought that was gorgeous. But white is also beautiful. And then we're gonna take this little piece right here and... Kim says we have another troll. Get rid of our troll, you guys. I don't know what I don't know what people get out of disrupting things. Like get a life, <laughs> right? Oh, people are naughty. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right in the center. I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to add it right in the center, just like that. Super simple, right? I'm gonna have to grab my dimensionals. Hang on. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and now one thing, one mistake that I made when I made my first daffodil is I tried to like put this right in the middle of the flower. No, no, no. 
your buttercup actually ends up in the center. So you want to kind of move that up there to that center. Okay. So see how this is way higher towards the top? That's what your flower should actually look like. Because it looked pretty goofy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Then... These stems, of course, are pretty big, and you, you don't even see the end here um, on what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to pop it right up here, and now I'm going to take my snips, and I'm just going to snip this off just like that. And then I'm going to do a dry fit. I want to see where is this going to end up? How is it going to look? Yep, I like that. And then maybe a little bit more up and downsy. Maybe I could do it this way. I could make it go that way, couldn't I? Sure I could, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this on. I always like to kind of dry fit stuff, see what's happening, figure out what I'm doing before I start gluing stuff down. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this kind of right over my stem I'm gonna cut it off right about here and glue it on. These are really easy. It looks like a lot of pieces. It looks like it would be a little bit of a nightmare, but it really isn't. And then we're gonna use dimensionals. Whoops, dimensionals on the back of this. One big dimensional ought to do the trick. I'm gonna make my daffodil go this way. Whoops. Oh, look, I should move this down. Hang on. We can do that. Hang on. I want this to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to cut this off a little bit shorter. Otherwise, it's kind of stuck up under my... And I'm going to cover up that little tear I put on the front of this layer. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look, I'm going to do that. Ah, look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Pretty, pretty. Okay, this layer. Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have my gingham ribbon. Hang on. I gotta grab my gingham ribbon. We're gonna be using that also. Now, don't forget, again, with the black and white, you can take this gingham ribbon and you can make it any color you want it to be. You can color it with flirty flamingo. You can cut or color it with pit. Let's try that. Let's color this with pale papaya. So I'm gonna add this layer. And this layer of designer series paper is five by three and three quarters. So we got a pretty big margin of that white card base on here. And then I'm going to just bring that around the front of my card and tie it in a knot. So I'm just looking to see how much do I need here? Maybe a little bit more. Yep, that looks good. I'll cut it off right about here. Oops, that looks stupid. <laughs> Don't cut your ribbon stupid. Okay. And then we do have Flirty Flamingo. Let me see. Do we have Pale Papaya? We do. We have Pale Papaya. Should Okay, what color, you guys? Should I do dark pale papaya or dark flirty flamingo on my ribbon? What's the consensus? I wanna hear what you have to say. So I'm gonna take a drink. What size is the designer paper? It is five by three and three quarters. Cheryl. Five by three and three quarters. And that reminds me, you guys, you are going to find Mary is asking, how do I know I have a troll? Because somebody typed on here that we have a troll. They say stupid things that have nothing to do with what we're doing on here, and then we know we have a troll. I didn't see it, but somebody did. Papaya, 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 flirty. There's another flirty, flirty. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of half and half. Pale papaya. Holy cow, flirty. We got lots of flirty, lots of pale papaya. I think I'm gonna go with the, there's another flirty. I'm gonna go with the flirty, but I think the pale papaya would be pretty also, you guys. 
Either one of these colors is gonna be gorgeous. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the big end and I am going to just drag it down the ribbon. Now, the really cool thing about the alcohol blends is that it automatically colors through to the other side so you don't even have to do anything. One swipe and you've colored all. Yeah, Yvette says there have been three trolls so far. Yeah, I know, you know what? I'm getting a lot of um, uh, men from India that are um, watching <laughs> too. It's very strange. It's like, nope, I'm probably not for you. Okay, here comes, I'm gonna move this over here. Here comes our little knot. We're gonna put it way over here to the side. You can always move it if you need to, if you find that you didn't put it over far enough. But I'll show you how to do that. So I've got this pretty snug on here, but if you take your cardstock and you go like this, now it's loose and you can move this around wherever you might need it to be, okay? And then we're gonna take this, this little layer. Yeah, I know, there've been a lot of weird troll things, but um, so far, you know, all they do is they're annoying for the most part. And then some of them, come on. <laughs> they must have heard about Steve's cooking, if that says, maybe. Um, some of them come on and then they start, you know, with the bad language and stuff like that, which, you know, can really push away people who don't want to see any of that. So I'm always grateful when you guys um, get rid of the trolls because I have no time for that. I would never ruin whatever they're doing. A bunch of jerks. Okay, so look at this. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Okay, so I'm not done. Hang tight. What am I? I need some embellishments. That's what I need. So Hang on, I think, do I want to use, I don't know if I want to use champagne rhinestones. Let's try that. Let's see how that goes. Do we want to do a little champagne rhinestones? Because they match the pale papaya for the most part. I don't know if I want to do those or... If I want to just do regular rhinestones because they're silver and this is black and white and oh, there my mind just goes in a gazillion little places here. Let's do this. And I've got a whole bunch of them here. So, oh, I love, what do you guys think? Is that pretty? Another thing we could do, gosh, so many things are popping into my head. Oh, Courtney, Courtney said black matte dots. That would have been a great idea too. That would have been a really good idea. I'm just gonna color. You should do this before you put this together. But this was an afterthought. I'm just gonna color the pop or the um, flirty layer with the wink of Stella. <gasps> That's really pretty. Look at ah! there. You go, guys. That is my totally cool. Ooh, let me put this back in with my dies because then I won't have to cut one when I need one, right? Yeah, it really is pretty. And you saw how easy that was to just stack all those things together. And the fact that you get more than one to run through, you can run through two at a time. That's outstanding. I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. Absolutely love it. So again, we've got the all together. You guys, if you have not ordered this pack of paper, what are you waiting for? Ooh, do you have a little bee or butterfly to stick on? Oh, that would be really cool too. We do have some brass butterflies, but they're gold. And I don't know how that would go with the silver rhinestones, but that's a really good idea. Oh, hi, Patty Hall. I'm happy to see you on here. What you are calling the butter cup is the trumpet. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I tend to make up my own vocabulary a lot. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, this paper, I took um, for one of my Stamp Happy Academy classes, I took this paper and I colored just every fourth or fifth leaf green on here. 
That was really a cool look too. You can do so much with this stuff. This is called All Together Designer Series Paper. And it's only available, this whole pack of black and white, look at, I'm making a mess out of things. This whole pack of black and white is only available until, what is it, May 2nd? I think it's May 2nd. Hang on, my crown is falling off. I can't have that. Did anybody see Haley come on here tonight? I kind of thought she'd be in here. Hi, Mary Olson. Okay, so there's our first card. Now, let me set this stuff aside. And we're going to have some more flower fun. Oh, wait, wait. I told you guys I had some cards to share with you. So let me do that. Gosh, I always forget that part. So this is the Daffodil Daydream Bundle, right? And this uses the stamp. But then this paper was our designer series paper from Celebration. Look at that. So yeah, we've got the Happy Mother's Day. Apparently this person actually had the stamp set. <laughs> but look at how fun that is. Here's that flower. And this is a fun fold. Look at how pretty. Isn't that neat? I love this, our black glittered ribbon. And this was part of the daffodil paper from Celebration. Okay, here comes another one. Look at how pretty this is. This uses those lattices. Those are gorgeous. And they used Wink Estella on here. They stamped the um, this border image. Yeah, and there's that butterfly too. Really, really pretty. Here's another one that's really pretty. This is like um, do, 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 using a blending brush. So she did green and blue and purple. These are all swap cards, by the way. And here's some of our sequin rinds or uh, sequin uh, self adhesive sequins. Those are really pretty. And just that stamped in black, so you don't even have to color it, right? That is gorgeous. Here comes another one with that daffodil paper. Here's another fun fold, look at this. And they stamped the, the little um, border design there. Isn't that pretty? And here's the little polka dots. So here's those little polka dots. Oftentimes we're like, what do we do with those, right? Yeah. Is that Barb's card? Oh, I don't know. Is this Barb's card? Maybe. Barb doesn't stick her name to the back. She puts it in a little envelope, but then I take them out of the envelope and all the names are gone. Um, here's another one. So it might have been Barb's card. Um, here's another one. Again, very pretty. Love the um, mm, butterflies. And this, I think, is the peach paper. Nope, this is the, what is that floral paper, you guys? You guys know what it is. Somebody will say it. Yeah, very, very pretty. I love that dye on there, too. Oh, here comes mine where I used a different designer series paper. Look it. And I used different embellishments. I used the iridescent, iridescent rhinestones. So look at how different these cards look, even though they're the same right? Yeah. Hand penned. Yes. Thank you, Lori. This is the hand penned paper. Thank you, Karen. I see you're popping in Kathy. Everybody knows except Kelly. <laughs> Leanne says my videos always change her mind about stamp sets that I think I won't like or use. I know. And that's why a lot of times pictures in a catalog just don't do it justice right they just don't so that's why you need us to show you all these fabulous ideas look at this one this is this is from Greta and Greta made this beautiful look at the inside for all that you are and every thoughtful thing you do and then she put that little butterfly in there isn't this just so pretty here she used the bud on there yeah, this is just so, so pretty. And there's a there's a vellum. Oh, look at it. This is the same. This is the same layout. She's got the vellum, scalloped vellum rectangle in the background on here. And she used some decorative masking with the blending brushes. So that leads me into our next cards because we're going to be using decorative masks. Ah, I can't hardly wait to show you. 
this card. So I got a swap card and it was so incredibly beautiful. I'll show it to you. I'm gonna make it a little different in that I'm changing the colors and the designer paper. But I will, I will show it to you. So hang tight while I get all my eggs in a row here. We are going to be using the Expressions in Ink Specialty Designer Series paper. Who has this paper? Like this is delicious. It has gold accents embossing in it. It is so beautiful. It goes with all of these colors in the middle. And it seems like every time I do a video, I have somebody ask me, where do I get these sheets from? You make them. You print out on a white sheet the name of the paper, all the coordinating colors. This even has the item code on it. And then you cut your own designer series paper up two by two. This is one side, that's the other. This is one side, that's the other. One inch circles of the coordinating colors down the middle and bam, you have, we call these a DSP, designer series paper sampler. Everybody's popping in, they have this paper. It is beautiful. Okay, so I pulled out a brand new to me embossing folder. This is the Pretty Flowers embossing folder. I've never used it. So today was a great reason to use it. And then let me put my little cheat sheet up there so I know what's happening here. I am going to, I think I'm going to do the pink one first. So this is the um, la, 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 polished pink, and that is one of the coordinating colors with this paper. And we'll bring in those two pieces. Let's get all our, whoops, all our bits and pieces out here. And I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, let me move this. And then we are going to be using the butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks. So. Kelly should actually check the inventory supply list, our inventory supply report, before I decide what I'm gonna do on a Facebook Live, but I actually checked it after the fact and found that these are not available right now. However, they are going to be available April 4th, and that's only a couple weeks from now, so I decided to go forward with my project. Look at these. This is what we're gonna use. These are so fun because you stack them together. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Oh, who doesn't like this? Kim doesn't like this. Kim, I'm gonna change your mind. Look at how pretty that is. Here comes butterflies. Stack them together, pretty, pretty. And then here comes some leaf, vine leaf things. Very cool. This is one of my favorites. I love this. And then we have this one. And let's see, does that, yep, that lines up with this, doesn't it? Mm, excellent, right? These are all really cool. So I am going to, I'm gonna be using this one. I've got my polished pink card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And again, you will find free downloads that you can download to your computer and save, or you can print off and put it in your Stamping Idea library of my projects tonight on my blog, www.estampabove.com. Give me a couple hours because there's a lot of work that has to happen after I'm done being live to be able to put all these on my blog. This is my current host code. If you plan on placing an order with me, if you could please add this host code into your shopping bag. When you go to your shopping bag, you're going to see host code. Add this in if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't put this code in. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. But if your order's under $150, you don't get rewards, and I will like to have those. That's how I get you door prizes and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I've got this particular piece of designer paper, and this is two and a half by six. I'm going to use this to decorate my envelope because I love a decorated envelope. There we go. And I just put some glue on my flap and then I bring my designer paper in 
and trim it off. So if you open it up and use this as your guide to trim, it's just like you're just tracing along the lines, right? There we go. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I just love this paper. Love it. Okay, so we got our envelope done. We've got our card base done. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white for the inside. And I'm going to add just a half inch scrap of the same designer series paper right down here to the bottom of this layer. Trim this off and we'll just set this over by the rest of our card that we have ready to roll. Then, I took the, where did those contour dies go? La, la, la. I just had them a few minutes ago. I showed them to you. Here they are. Okay, these are the scalloped contour dies. These go with a stamp set. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but these are fabulous. You get all kinds of different rectangles and they have stitching and scallops on the edges and they're just so, so pretty. Who knows, who knows the stamp set this goes with? Somebody's gonna tell us. Scalloped contour dies goes with. So I die cut a polished pink scallop. Color and contour, thank you, Lori. Color and contour is the name of the stamp set. Then I brought out my stitched rectangles and I found the one that was very close to the same size and I die cut it on the designer paper and I love the stitching around the edge and look at that gold veining in here, so, so pretty. Okay, so these are the two, two dies that I used. Then I took my pretty flowers embossing folder and I embossed a four by five and a quarter inch piece of polished pink. And as I was looking at this, cause this is the first time I've used this embossing folder that um, <laughs> Lisa says, you will be proud to know that I showed my granddaughter how to add DSP to her envelope today. Yay, Lisa, that makes my heart happy. I look, this is like the right side of the embossing folder and this is the negative side, but I almost like this just as much. So I think I'm gonna use this side of that folder. Okay, um, so we'll set that over there. These pieces are all done and ready for assembly. Now, I cut this. This is two by three and a quarter, and this is where I'm going to bring in my masks. And I think what I'm gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna use this temporary tape, but I'm gonna get some ready to use. This is some low tech artist tape by Scotch that I use to hold my dies down before I run them through my die cutting machine. And I always put them on and off, usually my jeans, but I don't wanna get my leg all the way up here because I'm not wearing cute shoes tonight. My shoes are kind of rather ugly and I don't wanna show them to you or I would throw my leg up here, but. So we're just gonna do it right here. So then I, I usually do this on my jeans, but not tonight. Maybe next week. I'll try to do better on my shoes, okay? <laughs> Good Lord, she's gone crazy. She's gone completely mad. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need, um, I think I'm going to use the same sentiment, a note of thanks. So I'll do that at the end so we can ruin it after we've done all the work. <laughs> No, we will not ruin it. Now, with these dies, these are two-step or uh, masks. They're two-step masks is what they are. So what you want to do is the one that has the really thin lines on it, you want to do that one first, okay? That's going to be your lighter color. Let's see. Just like this one. You would do this one first and then come over with a darker color, lighter color, darker color. Let's see, do we have another one here? Uh, here's that little flower. You would do a lighter color with this, this flower and then over top with a darker color, okay? So that's the way I use them anyways. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to 
put this right on my two by three and a quarter inch piece. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put a little bit of tape right there to keep that in place. And then maybe just a little bit of tape right there so that this doesn't move. I don't know, we'll see. I've not made this card. I'm just showing you what somebody else made in different colors and I know you're gonna love it because it's incredibly beautiful. Okay, so for polished pink, I decided that my colors should be Blushing Bride and Polished Pink. And I could be completely wrong. I'm not going to lie to you. But we're going to see. So let's try these two. And I've got my blending brushes. Now, these blending brushes, you get three in a pack for like, I don't know, are they $10? <gasps> They're so soft. Like, you just want to, like, you just want to sleep with them. <laughs> They're so incredibly fine and soft and lovable and juicy and uh, they just make me happy. So I'm just tap, 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 rub it around, tap, tap, tap. Now I am going to get some of my color off on here because I don't want it to be blobby, okay? And I'm starting with my lighter color first. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm holding everything in place. Even though I taped it, I don't have a lot of trust. I have some trust issues. <laughs> That's not funny. It is kind of, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. We're not going to go right to here. We're going to go over to here to get the... We need to dissipate that color just a little bit. And you're just going to keep making the pretties. Whoops, whoops, it moved a little bit. Here we go. I need to get down here a little bit. Ooh, that got, yeah, that came in kind of hot and heavy. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yay! Okay, are we ready for a reveal? Are you guys want to see? Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. Okay, so now we need to do this one. So I'm going to pull this tape up. And we're going to put this one directly, oops, hang on, I got a little piece of eraser in there. We're going to put this one directly over that one. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to... I think... Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is what I'm lining up, you guys. The two little flowers. You can really see the center good on both of these, and then that kind of falls right into place. You don't have to worry too much. But line up these two centers on these little flowers. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna put the polished pink on. And again, you don't want those blobs like that. That's not attractive. So you gotta kind of get it off a little bit. And now we're gonna come in. Oh, I got kind of blobby there because I got impatient. Don't be impatient. Are you guys ready for a reveal? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh look, I got a little bit over there. That's okay. Don't worry about that. This is so, so pretty. Now, let me put my little tape up there. What do you guys think? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me too. Did I say that? Give me a like. Give me a like. I love that. Okay, here comes my black. Let's see if I can stamp this nicely and not ruin it. did it really good. <laughs> what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I forgot to grab some ribbon. So let me see what I have over here. Oh, we have polished pink. We also have pale papaya. So I'll grab that right now. Here's my polished pink ribbon. So now we're ready to start putting our card together. So here's our envelope. 
Thank you guys so much. Okay. Um, here goes our inside. We'll get this in here. This is really quite, quite an easy card to make once you have your die cutting done and your embossing. But it's so fun to do those decorative masks. Okay, so there's that. Then we're going to take this. And we're going to add this layer to our contour or scallop contour die rectangle. Just like that. And we're going to take this and put it about right here. This is gonna go right over here. Oh yeah, I'm liking that, I'm liking that. So I'm going to glue this in place. I see I got a little bit of glue there, we don't want that. And then we'll put this on dimensionals. And one in the middle. There we go. And this is the take your pick tool. For those of you that may not be aware, this tool has a whole bunch of little tools built into it. But I love the pokey end. You'll find me using it for a ton of stuff. But it's also got the putty end for picking up rhinestones and tiny little embellishments, which is nice. And then it's got this little spatula end in here. It comes with a refill on the putty and you just squeeze a little bit out until things are sticking to it. And there's also a die cutting brush attachment that you can get for this. So it's a really a nice all-in-one tool. Okay, I'm gonna take the matching ribbon. This is the polished pink ribbon and I'm just gonna bring this over and tie it in a knot on the side. like this. You could tie a bow if you wanted to, but I think that might be a little bit more than we need. Maybe if you're using um, some baker's twine, then it would be, you know, smaller. Okay. And then I'll trim this off. Trim this up. Ah. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna put this right over here. And I'm just centering this from top to bottom and putting it against this edge over here. And then, let's see. I was thinking that these are the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. And you get a whole bunch of sheets in here. Look at all of these, look at all these. Holy cow, and I thought these pink ones would look really good. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool to set these in place. Oh, you little bugger. There we go. And maybe one more. Just like that. And then I want some rhinestones for the flowers. So let me set those aside. But I want them to be pink. So I am going to take, what is this? This is dark magenta madness. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, that's working for me. Hang on. You can color them with your alcohol markers. So I'll put one right there and one right there and one right there and one right there. Oh my goodness gracious, look at how pretty, look at how blingy that is, right? Okay, let's get our card finalized here. Now this is the polished pink. Oh 
do you guys think? Is that cool? I thought that was really cool. Okay, do you want to see one more? Because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do polished pink or if I wanted to do some oranges. So, I have all of this too. And hang on, I gotta get a tissue. Anytime your glue starts getting dry like that, because I leave mine open all the time, and it's fine to do that. You just need to pull that end. It, gives, it like gives a little dry in, end in there, in there. And you just pull it out with a tissue. So this time I'm gonna use these. I should say the floral designer paper. How's my, um, how's the people who don't really like this paper, are you doing with it? Are you still like on the fence or did I pull you over to the other side? <laughs> guys so much i see your comments coming in thank you so much now look at how pretty that is two and a half by six glue it on the flat okay i've already got this done and this done and this done i've got all these pieces done so we're just gonna quick whip this together and then we're gonna have some fun with the decorative mask this is a three quarter inch piece the other piece i think was only a half an inch that i put on the inside but again it's because i'm just using um scraps. I didn't cut anything. It was just laying in my paper pack. We're using pale papaya. Now, I was going to use pumpkin pie, but I just thought it was too much. It was just a, like a little bit like, oh my good lord. And I like pumpkin pie. Don't get me wrong. It just didn't, it kind of overtook the whole card is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, we pick and choose our colors based on how well they're going to work with our project. There we go, there's our inside. We have, we happen to have pale papaya, right? We've got all this matchy matchy. And that's what makes Stampin' Up! so easy to design with, is you've got all these different cardstock with matching markers and matching embellishments and matching ribbon, and it just makes life easy. You don't have to go to five different places to find four different things that match. It's all under one roof. And I do love that about my company. Okay, here we go. This is our, oh, this is our piece. I need to put this under here. So let me do that. And we'll just do that just like that. Da, da, da. And then this is going to go on with dimensionals. Oh, Vicki says she made a card today with this paper. Oh, it's so, I just think it's so pretty. But I really like that. Um, what do they call that? Like, it's, you can do it with alcohol and blends. And it's like a technique, this. It's just, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw this right on here. Just like the other one. There we go. And then here's our white piece. So this is, oh, we can throw this right on the front too. I use a little bit more glue when I'm using an embossed layer just because I think the glue goes into the nooks and crannies and you need just a tiny bit more. Ooh, this is pretty, isn't it? Look at how crooked my card base is. What the heck, Kelly? How does that even happen? Hang on, let me see if I can force it to be straight. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, here comes our decorative mask. Where did it go? Do you guys see it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so what I do with these blending brushes, now I know some people will just put these away and use them again for, you know, whatever, but I wash them out. And you can see this one has been used before. It's not completely white. I just wash them out and let them dry. I don't know if I need to do that or not, but that's what I like to do with them. Okay, so I'm going to tape that down. 
And then again, I am going to come in with the thinner lined um, mask. So I'm gonna come in just like this. And then I'll tape that in place. And now I'm going to be using, hang on, let me get these inks put away. Ooh, Cynthia says she really likes the pale papaya. I do too. I, it's very soft, right? It's a, just a little bit softer. Okay, this is a color. <laughs> Hang on. This is petal pink. And this is pale papaya. So again, we're going to start with the lighter color. And where's my other blending brush? Right here. Okay, so we'll put that one over there. This one's going to go right here. And again, I'm going to... There we go. I'm holding everything firmly in place. Well, this is a very, very pale color. Mm, so pretty. Do you guys want to see? Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so we're ready to bring around the other one. And let's see, what did I do? There we go. Okay, now like I said again, just look at the center of those little flowers for placement. That seems to be the best way to do that. I'm just looking at this one and this one for placement. Now I'm going to go with Pale Papaya, which is our darker color. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit darker. Now you could throw together a whole bunch of these in short order. I just think they're just smashing. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a note of thanks again. You could, of course, put any sentiment on here that you wanted. You're pretty. Look, I got that dot up there again. Where's that coming from? I do not know. Oh, I bet you're right there. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. Let me look at this for a second. Oh yeah, sure, right there. So mask that off with some tape or something, you guys, because I have it there again. I'm like, how did that happen again? Okay, anyways, doesn't matter because it still looks beautiful, right? Here comes the finishing touch on our card. Okay, now we need, we need some, oh, we have orange. We can use these. Yep, I think we'll use these. These are those self-adhesive sequins again. And I'm just gonna grab some of these. And one more. Right up there, we got that little bit of bling happening over here on this layer. And then, where are, I think I'm gonna use some of these, but I'm gonna color them with a pumpkin pie marker to make them a little more orange. Is that a good idea? I think it is. I'm gonna use the little ones. There we go, we got Oh, I did five of them. We only needed four. Math is hard. Here we go. And there. And there. And one more right there. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Put a Oh, I could put a sequin on that spot. 
I think I'm just going to leave it. I think it's okay, but you could cover it up with something. Oh, I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. So here's, let me get these out of the way. Get these closed up. Yeah, I think I like the pale papaya too. Helen says she likes the pale papaya better. I think I do too. It's just a lot softer, right? This is kind of a lot. But both are. Both are pretty. But I think I'm leaning towards this one too. Yeah, just so. These decorative masks are just really cool. There's also some techniques you can use to use these in your embossing or to emboss layers of cardstock that are really, really fun. I think these are only $10 and you get all six of them. And add a few blending brushes. And again, I will just wash these out in the sink and leave them to dry. But there's our two beautiful cards. And here are our two daffodil cards. And then you guys, I am planning on sharing with you the video that I made with Sarah Douglas, CEO of Stampin' Up! for my Million Dollar Achievers trip using this particular bundle. And then uh, we're celebrating my anniversary this week. I've been with Stampin' Up! for 18 years. So I'm also going to be sharing my million dollar entrance into Stampin' Up. It's like, it's pretty spectacular, but I, I didn't, I didn't share that yet either. So I'll be doing that this week. Watch for that. That'll be a lot of fun to watch. I, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, Steve was really, um, he had no idea what a rock star I was. <laughs> I always like to say that <laughs> because when you walk in that place, it's like you're, you're, it's like you're a rock star. The whole place is clapping and yelling for you. And he was just like, whoa, what is happening here? And his mouth was hanging open. He was like, holy cow. I'm like, yeah, you didn't know what a rock star was, right? So we were just joking. Of course, I'm not a rock star. But um, anyways, it's pretty cool. And thank you guys so much for the anniversary wishes. I really appreciate it. Anniversaries are a lot of fun. It's a it's a reason to celebrate, right? So yeah, it's hard to believe that I've been with Stampin' Up! for 18 years. Like, that is crazy. And it seems like, sometimes it seems like longer, but most of the time it seems like not too long ago I started in this crazy inky business. And I still, 18 years later, I love what I do. I love my job. I love you guys. I love in interacting with you. I I love everything. I love everything about it. It's just I'm so I feel so blessed to have found something that brings me so much joy and then be able to share that joy with others so they can have lots of joy too. I think it's just it's the best. It's just the best. And I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. And um, if you ever need any help with anything or any questions, that's what I'm here for. Vicki wants to know about my stamp set. My stamp set is in the final stages. I think I found out it'll be coming out in the 2023 annual catalog. 2023. Yeah, annual catalog. Um, because you guys, you know, you may not know this, but the Stampin' Up! catalog is printed up a long time in advance, which means they have to have all the stamps and accessories and paper and everything done and ready, like, at least a year in advance of when it actually comes out to the public. So, it takes a while to get a new stamp set into a catalog. So, um, my design, my concept artist that I've been working with told me that it will be in the 2023 catalog. That seems like eons from now, right? But believe me, the next year is going to go super fast, just like all the other years, because it seems like the years go so fast. So, um, let's see. I have some mail, and I don't, I don't want to keep you guys too long tonight. But I'm going to share a little bit of mail with you. Look at this one. This is from Cheryl Rush. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty this is. I was looking at this and I'm like, we need to make one of these, right? You guys need to make one of these. Yeah, look at all that fancy fold. 
It's not hard either. I know it's not. I've never made one of these cards, but I know it's not hard. We can do this. We can do it. All right, maybe we'll make that next week. I'm not promising anything, but we'll see. So I got that from, that came from Cheryl, and she's thanking me for the prize. My team meeting every month, we have a team meeting once a month. She's on my team, and I, um, she won. She was one of the winners of the prize drawing. And she says, I hope this brightens up your day. You brighten up my day getting to watch your video and being on your team. Cheryl, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Then I got this, more daffodils, right? And there's the same stamp set, Easter Blessings. And she took, this is Designer Series paper, and she ran it through the textiles embossing folder. I love that. This is from Debbie Wheeler. And she said, love seeing the pictures from Florida and that new grandson. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. She's really looking forward to the spring retreat. That is a virtual event, by the way. It is next weekend. Um, if you still want to get in on it, you can. It comes with a goodie box of a, worth $100, over $100 in product. And the price is $159, or you can do the online-only version without the goodie box for $70. There's going to be a whole bunch of live class. I should say there's three live classes. There's four classes for four different bundles of product. We have games. We have mystery stamping. There's drawings, prize giveaways. Oh, my gosh. A retreat is so much fun. The best part is, is you get to sit in your pajamas if you choose to in the comfort of your own home to enjoy the retreat. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. You can email me. Just put Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at symbol, a stamp above.com. Pop me an email and I will send you the link. Thank you so much for your card, Debbie. That is just so pretty. Now this one is... Uh, St. Patrick's Day card. This is from Bobby. How cute is that? She used three hearts to make um, a shamrock. And I just love that. Thank you so much, Bobby. That is just the sweetest. Then look at this one. This is from Terry Mullinax. And I think it's really cool because I think what she did was there was a whole bunch of dyes in this. And she took all of those banner dies out and look at what she did. This was one of our paper pumpkin kits. And she's she won a bundle from the team meeting. So yeah, it says, love this group. She's on my team, love this group with amazing inspiration. And most of all, I look forward to all your videos. Terry, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. And this card is outstanding, right? Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, look at this one. This is also from Terry. This is Valentine's Day. Remember, I was gone um, to Florida in February, so I've still got Valentine cards in here to share with you. Look at how fun that is. Happy Valentine's Day. This is just the coolest. Thank you so much, Terry. And then we've got Barb back. Look what she made for Valentine's Day. Remember when I did this waterfall card? How stinking adorable, Barb. This is so cute. Look at that. Yeah, I did this with the otters. Super, super cute. Love all the videos and ideas. There's only one problem. Every time I watch you, I want something new. You're welcome, Barb. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and look at this one. That little fairy is so stinking cute. This is from Candy. And um, Candy says, thank you so much for the happy mail. She is also on my team. And she got some embossing folders and she said she didn't have either one of them and was thinking of ordering them and they came right in the mail. Woohoo! That was good ESPN, right? <laughs> this is from Patricia Perrin. Oh, I just love this. This rainbow paper is so pretty, isn't it? Thank you for all you do, Pat. Pat, you are so welcome. How sweet is that? Next, we have this beauty. This is from Cynthia Jacobson. Oh, I love this. So pretty. Thank you for the happy mail after our last team meeting. Who loves happy mail? Me. She says, thank you for all you do. Your creativity, inspiration, and fun are infectious. The good kind of infectious. 
have fun in Florida. Cynthia, thank you so much. This is really pretty. I love that artfully composed, I believe that's called. Then we have Cindy Ellers. Look at, she's got Wink Estella on all her little rainbow pieces. And she says, you make me happy. I appreciate the On the Horizon bundle. Cindy's also on my team. Lots of team cards here. This is from the Fairy Card Maker Bobby. Happy Valentine's Day. What a pretty card. I like these colors. Thank you so much, Bobby. Very pretty. Then we've got Jamie Lency. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, and she put some of the, um, oh, what is that liquid stuff that dries shiny on her bumblebees? These are, this is so pretty. Thanks so much for the happy mail. Not sure if it was team meeting or something else. You're very welcome, Jamie. Thank you so much for the pretty card. Lots of Wink of Stella on those flowers too. Are you guys sick of me yet? This is from the Newbaum family. Look at how cute this Valentine card is. Whole family's on there. That is really nice. Thank you so much. Oh, I think I got a fun fold coming out here. Suzanne Scott. Look at this. Ah. And she says, message on the back. And that's the way to help people out. <laughs> when you send them a card and they may not know what to do with it. Look at how fun this. And remember, this is that paper, the pattern party paper that's black and white on the other side. So very, very cool. She also is on my team and she was a winner for mystery stamping. I do mystery stamping with my team every month and give away prizes for that. So thank you, Suzanne. Your card is beautiful. Then we have Rhea Jones also on my team. I love this. Look at, look at that. This is fun. I can't remember what that style is, but I've done it before. Thank you so much for the Seize the Day bundle. I'm happy that I can be on your team. I'm happy you can too. Thank you, Rhea. Then we have, hang on. This is from Mickey. Look at how cute this is. I love these little envelopes. Very, very cool. And this is happy to have you as my Facebook friend. How fun is that? I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Mickey. It's Miran. Miran, thank you very much. And thank you for the pronunciation too, because you guys know I struggle with names, don't I? Yep, I do. <gasps> Look at this one. This is from my team leader, Ann Heebner. Look at how cute that is. This is that sweet talk set and what interesting colors. I love them. This is really pretty. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, Ann. That is really cute. Next up, we have, hang on, I gotta see. Oh, this is from Don Serwinski. So hang on. Are you ready? Let me make sure I got it the right way. Look at this. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at all that. Isn't that pretty? Thank you for the stamp set and the adhesive hexagons. Also the beautiful sympathy card. Aw, Don, you're so welcome. This is gorgeous. This is one of those twist, I, twist pop-ups. Isn't that cool? Don't you just love playing with things? cards that do stuff like the waterfall card and this one. Oh my gosh. Your card is beautiful, Dawn. Thank you so much. Next up, we have another Valentine card. This is from Elaine Reback. I know Elaine's watching tonight. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love these doilies. It says, hope your day will be filled with surprises. Yeah. What did we do? Mike and Vicki from Fond du Lac were um, in... They visited us on Valentine's Day. I think we had a really good dinner with like lots of seafood. That's what I think we did. This is from Linda. Hang on. I got a... This is from Linda Gilbert. Gilbert, she is also on my team above and beyond. You go there a lot. Look at this. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. <laughs> this is so pretty, Linda. Oh my gosh. She says, there aren't enough words to tell you how much I appreciate all the little things you do for all of us. That That is the sweetest thing. She got some happy mail. She said, the opportunity to be included in all your drawings and all the time you spend prepping for the 
video that inspires us to continue to make the gorgeous and creative cards you bring to us. Enjoy your vacay with your sweetie. Aw, Linda, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. And this is from Cheryl Rush. Oops, hang on. She's also on my team. And she says she is sending me this cute hedgehog card as a thank you because she won it. <laughs> she says, um, I really appreciate the opportunity to win a free stamp set. Thank you for the happy hedgehogs. Yay! You are so welcome, Cheryl. I'm so glad you're on my team. Next up, oh, this is one of my favorite. This is from Linda Keister. Look at, this was that calming camellia. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. She also got some happy mail. Yay! So, woohoo! She says, enjoy Florida. Thank you so much. She said, I joined SHA Live. So worth it. It is so inspiring. So yeah, I forgot to mention, Stamp Happy Academy is a membership website that my friends Dina Barb and I run. And um, we have live classes on there when you do the uh, premium membership. We each do a live class every month where you have at least nine cards that we share with you live. So Linda just joined and she says it, it's so worth it. She's very inspired by it. And it really is. I love those. And let's see. I've got one card left, you guys. And oh, so pretty. Look at how pretty. Ah, yeah. This is from Connie. It says, I hope your trip to Florida was great. We are looking forward to our trip next week. This is from Connie Piasecki. Connie and her um, boyfriend went down to Florida. They left shortly after we got back. And Connie sent me, Connie's on my team also, and she sent me a whole um, container of cards. She's been helping me make cards because as you might well know, I can't keep up by myself. So that's been really nice. And then here's my shampoo and conditioner in this box. <laughs> so I must have just set it in here when I brought it all this stuff upstairs when we got home from Florida. So yeah, I've got shampoo, conditioner, and then all these beautiful cards. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to, once again, thank you for joining me. I always appreciate your orders. You're going to find my online store on my blog at www.astampabove.com. Here's my monthly host code. If your order is under $150, please do use that. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you'd like to join my team, it's the best place to be. And I will see you back here next week on Sunday, March 27th, 7 p.m. Central Time. And watch for those videos to post. I will post them on my blog, but then I'll bring a link over to my Facebook to share with you also. Otherwise, in a couple days or so, you can go just to my blog and you can find my um, video with Sarah Douglas for my million dollar trip and also my million dollar trip video because that's pretty cool. All right, I'm done this time. I'm really done. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful week too. And as always, I just so appreciate you joining me for this class tonight. It wouldn't be fun by myself, right? So I appreciate all of you. Have a great week and happy first day of spring. It is my sister-in-law Pam's birthday today. So happy birthday, Pam. Happy first day of spring. I hope it doesn't snow too many more times here in Wisconsin. And with that, I'm out. Bye-bye.